Greetings, Night Time here. As some of you may know, the Australian Government is going to be changing the look of cigarette packets in the near future. Cigarette packets will look from the relatively colourful packets of today to these rather drab looking packets with photographs of uh, some of the effects that smoking can have on you, such as cancers, uh, bad teeth, emphysema and so forth. Philip Morris, for some odd reason, does not, does not like this idea. Philip Morris is one of the larger cigarette companies in, this, in Australia, or one of the larger distributors of, of tobacco products in Australia, and they are threatening to sue the Australian government if it goes through with this for loss of income, loss of market share and so on and so forth. Uh, basically what, what they're complaining about is the loss of brand recognition. Uh, they, um, but of course all, all cigarette companies will be in the same boat. All cigarette companies packets will look like this with just their name, I think, in plain text across here. So it would be Philip Morris, just in plain text without their um, trademark icons of whatever they might be. Uh, Nicola Roxon, uh, the Health Minister for Australia, says our government is determined to take every step we can to reduce the harm by tobacco. Uh, well, Roxanne, if you actually believe that, and if the government actually believe that, then they would get rid of tobacco products altogether and would be put into place a way of doing that. I have a suggestion, which I know you will not um, take on board, but I'll present it here anyhow for those of you who might be interested. Here we have a rel relatively simple spreadsheet split up into 36 months of four weeks per month. So it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit under three years in total because each calendar year holds 13 four week months as you can see here month 13 249 50 51 52 weeks now for this demonstration i have um, put down the cost of initial cost of cigarettes at $20 per packet it might be more it might be less this is just for demonstration purposes and an interest rate of 2% the interest rate is 2% per week increase. So it's a 2%, 4, 6, 8, and so on down the list. Well, it's actually 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%. But it's 2% of the previous week's total amount. So it's 2% of $20. That would be 2% of $20.40, so on and so forth, all the way up to the um, week 144. The money to the cigarette companies would be fixed or actually frozen to whatever the current, uh, whatever the current uh, rate is or amount is, plus um, inflation. So if inflation is 4.6%, they'll get 4.6% 4 increase um, just to cover their costs. So they wouldn't be any worse off, but they wouldn't be any better off either. And with my plan, they'll be a lot worse off near the end. So where does all this money going to be going to? My plan ill-conceived as it is, would be to funnel all of the money, every cent, 
towards anti-cancer, anti-smoking campaigns, um, offsetting the cost of uh, nicorettes or other um, medical ways of getting you off tobacco products. The reason for the increase is to price cigarettes out of people's out of lower income range first. You may think that's a bit unfair. They'll be complaining and bitching. It's my right to smoke. Well, no, it's not. It's your privilege to smoke. Much like you don't have a right to drink alcohol, you have the privilege to drink alcohol. You don't have the right to drive a car, you have the privilege to drive a car. And like any other privilege, they can be revoked. And this is what I'm proposing, a revocation of the privilege to smoke cigarettes. The idea, once again, behind the price increase is to progressively put it out of the price range of people in, in a basically a stage or stepped way of doing it. At some point, people will just say it's just too expensive and will stop. And if they smart and take advantage of the anti-smoking uh, programs, they will get off cigarettes before that happens, before, before it gets to the point where they can't afford to buy them anymore and have to go cold turkey. I understand that probably about halfway through, or a bit sooner, black market will happen. Let them, they'll have a couple of years and then they'll be out of business as well in the tobacco trade. Reason for that is at the end of the 36 months, we just simply ban the product completely. By this stage, the cost of cigarettes will be, instead of being $20 a packet, will be $346.30 a packet. Only the most wealthy will be able to afford this. Um, black market aside, and the ban will stop the black market aspect anyhow. I know this is a somewhat ill-conceived plan. It won't work because no one will ever implement it. But this is my idea to get people off the tobacco product for a healthier and better Australia. Thank you for listening.